Hello, everybody. How are y'all doing tonight? Uh, how was your Saturday night? Mine? Pretty good. Um, I went into this game tonight with a lot of concerns and a lot of questions about this team and where it was headed. And I came out of this game feeling as good about this team as I have all season long. In fact, I don't know if this was our best game this season, but no game has made me feel as good as the one we just played. Um, Seahawks win 26-6, to and everything just worked t t tonight. I knew we could win this game. I knew we were, pro were favored and probably should win, but more than just winning a game, everything just worked for three hours tonight, and... We haven't been able to say that in many other games this season. Even when we win, when we beat the Rams 24-3, I'm still, I don't feel good about the offense. We beat up on the 49ers and the Jets earlier in the season, but those are bad teams. It's it's like, it's always something. And tonight there wasn't really anything to complain about. It was just, everything just worked. And it felt really good because there haven't been many games this year like that. So 26-6, to six, for starters defense. I questioned them a little bit after the last couple games that they played against the 49ers and Cardinals. Tonight, other than a couple of good uh, pass plays to Marvin Jones, he had a couple good plays, and a couple of screens to Zach Zenner, their offense was nothing tonight. Stafford had, you know, 200 yards passing. He completed half his passes. They couldn't run the ball. Um, Golden Tate was dropping passes, Eric Ebron was dropping passes. Not a lot going on for the Detroit offense. They had, like I said, a couple good plays to Marvin Jones, and a couple good screens to Zenner, but other than that, defense was almost perfect out there, and I gotta give them a lot of credit, because I did not think that our defense was able, was gonna be able to play at this level against a capable Lions offense. Now... If we're being straight honest, Matt Stafford's finger is still clearly very f fucked up. And that clearly kept him from playing at the level that he is capable of playing at. He missed, must have been at least eight or nine throws tonight, just missed in a way that a guy like Matthew Stafford usually doesn't miss. So that has to be taken into account when you look at this game. If Stafford's healthy... If the Lions receivers aren't dropping passes left and right, maybe we're talking about a different game. But, defense, really good out there. <clears throat> um, except maybe the pass rush. The pass rush, they disrupt, they get in the backfield, they force things to happen, but they're just not getting the quarterback on the ground very much. Um, there were several plays in this game where, you know, they just barely missed the sack. They just barely get let the quarterback get away and it looks good on TV but as we saw many times tonight plays where you have the opportunity to get a sack and you blow it are typically the plays where um, big you know you can give up big things in the secondary because it just gives the opportunity for things to really break down back there but yeah defense really good offensively again everything worked yeah okay the first half the passing game not there yet the passing game struggled George Fant got beat a couple times uh, Jermaine Effetti got beat a couple times we couldn't pass protect it took a half for them to get going but we ran the ball on a pretty decent Detroit defense. We couldn't run the ball last week against the 49ers crap ass run defense. Today, tonight, we we looked like the Marshawn Lynch Seahawks. <clears throat> Thomas Rawls played an incredible game. He was busting off long runs. He was grinding out five, six yard carries. He only had a couple negative runs the whole game. He was breaking tackles. He was making people miss. He was he did everything tonight, and it was consistent. It wasn't just one drive where he dominated, and then he did nothing else the rest of the game. It wasn't just one 90-yard carry, and then everything else was terrible. No. He was consistently great in this whole game, and 
while you can poke holes in the offensive line's pass protection, the run blocking today was... I didn't think they were capable of something like this, but Justin Britt, Mark Lewinsky, Jermaine Effetti, the whole unit worked in run blocking today. And I didn't think they had this in them. I thought that this was the kind of stuff we might see next year if the unit improves. But they looked really good tonight. And you have to, that might have been the best game the offensive line played all season. Because I'll tell you, the running game was good pretty much the whole game. The passing game got it in gear in that second half. Um, it started in late in the second quarter with uh, that first touchdown drive with uh, Paul Richardson hauling in the absolutely sick three-yard touchdown on fourth down where, um, you know, there probably should have been offsetting penalties, but it was still an incredible catch. Uh, Paul Richardson had two other great catches in this game, by the way, so filling in beautifully for Tyler Lockett. You can't ask for anything more. Um, Doug Baldwin, phenomenal game, 100-yard game, got a touchdown at the end, stole it from Jermaine who still gets the ball thrown at him in the red zone over and over and over. And it's starting to make me want to throw things at my television. Um, Jimmy Graham got involved for a couple of third down conversions. Alex Collins had a good uh, screen pass. Uh, you know, we're not a good screen team, but Alex Collins had a key one on one of our scoring drives. But that second half, the offense worked. Um... Honestly, Wilson, I thought he was inaccurate on some plays today. He missed a third down conversion to Tanner McAvoy. Would have been big um, in that second quarter. He just missed an open Tanner McAvoy for a conversion. Um, he overthrew Jimmy Graham, which is hard to do on uh, one of uh, his passes. But as that game went on, he settled in and he started playing some really good football. So... The only thing I can complain about offensively is I know the um, Fant and Effetti blew some pass blocking assignments in that first half, but it's unbelievable to me how Wilson has become unable to get away from pressure now. You know, he used to be the best quarterback in the league at escaping pressure and finding ways to make plays when it seems like the play's just dead. Tonight, Matthew Stafford was much better at escaping quarterback pressure than Russell Wilson, and it should not be like that. So, those two things in the first half, it was it was a thing, but as a whole, I've never seen this team this season play in such a way where everything is just working really well. Special teams... I've, I've, I haven't really wanted to say anything really bad about Hauschka this season because he's been a great kicker for us for so long, but this is starting to get too much. He's missing too many easy kicks now, and if this keeps up going into next week against Atlanta and it keeps going into next season, it's time to look somewhere else because as a kicker, you can lose it very quickly, and he looks like a guy who is losing it. He, I know they say he looks bad in practice. They say he looks bad, um, you know, he can't get his kicks up, and it's starting to really cost us some stuff. So, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll say that much. I'm starting to take a look at that guy as a guy who might not need to be here for much longer. So, yeah, I can go through the units, and I can find little areas to pinpoint. Pass rush needs to be a little better. Um, the the uh, pass blocking and uh, the quarterback mobility needs to be a little higher. Um, the kicker is going to cost us a game, and it's going to piss me off to no end. But um, this was as good as it has been for this team for quite some time. And we got to enjoy this one, guys. It was a big win at home. It was um, the eighth playoff win of the last five years. Let's enjoy this one, and in a couple days, we'll start looking ahead. But right now, let's just enjoy the fact that the run game dominated against a team that I didn't think we were going to be able to run the ball on at all. Let's, let's enjoy Russell Wilson's strong second half.
and you know some of the second quarter. Let's enjoy Paul Richardson finally starting to pay dividends on that draft pick we spent on him. So that's the game. Um, I will say, in the interest of being completely fair, uh, we got some calls in this game, and um, Detroit has a couple of grievances they could air that are pretty reasonable. Um, there was a face mask on Paul Richardson that didn't get called, although there was also a face mask on somebody who tackled, um, I think it was uh, Doug Baldwin on one of those plays that didn't get called. Um, there were a uh, pass interference shed might have gotten away with. There were a couple. Um, so, you know, being straight, because I have complained about officiating this season a fair amount, mostly after the freaking stupid Saints game, but in the interest of being completely fair, there was some um, not-so-on-the-level stuff going on out there. So, can't count on that next week. We're going into Atlanta. So, um, some of the stuff that we got today in our favor, mostly Stafford's broken finger, if we're being honest, because that was a big reason why he was so inaccurate. Can't count on it going forward, but right now, we're going to enjoy this win. We Nothing else to do but it. I mean, it wasn't just a win. We played, we played great, and it showed up out there. All right, folks. Great game. I'll see you guys next week. Definitely going to make pregame for this Atlanta game, and um, that'll do it.